Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. I want to tell you something else about myself. I have this weird uh, fascination with words. I was an English major for all of two semesters, and I've always kind of been drawn to the English language, always been drawn to words, especially like words and phrases that have more than one meaning, or maybe a phrase that we say and we think it means one thing, but it really doesn't, and we use it incorrectly. I mean, a phrase like, uh, uh, I could say, hey, can, I, can you come outside? I want to talk to you mano y mano. Uh, and, and we think it means man to man, but it doesn't mean man to man. It actually means hand to hand. I don't think you want to talk to somebody hand to hand, right? Or uh, you say, uh, really? You know, I could, I could care less about that. Really? You, you could care less? Because that would lead me to believe it's not really that bad. You know, I think what you mean is you couldn't care less, right? You couldn't care any less. And then there's words that have... Uh, more than one meaning, so much so that it's actually the opposite. You know, a word can be both its positive and its negative, and it's the same exact word. I mean, word like oversight. You know, I, I could be a manager and I could have oversight over my employees. I wa I'm watching them, but maybe, um, maybe I missed some mathematical equation on a paper, and now uh, my finances are off, and it was my oversight because I missed watching it or I missed seeing it. There's words like uh, left, right? I could say that you left the room. That means you are not in the room. But then I could say, do we have any cookies left? Oh, well, that would mean the cookies are in the room. Um, you could dust your house. That means you're removing dust. But you could also uh, dust a field, right? Or dust crops. And that means you're adding dust. Same with seed. You could say that I'm, I'm seeding my garden. So I'm adding seeds. Or you could say, I'm seeding a pumpkin. Well, that means you're removing seeds. Those words we say, fine. We don't even think about the fact that it means both it's positive and it's negative. It has a dual meaning. And we, and we don't struggle with those words. We don't, we don't have a problem with those words. But we do have a problem with, with a much bigger subject or a much bigger idea, um, especially when we think about Jesus. Because we like putting things in boxes, we like labeling things, we like understanding things. Jesus can sometimes be a hard thing to label, a hard thing to understand. There's a lot of people that want to just put Jesus in a box and say he was a teacher, or he was an advocate, or he was a philosopher, or he was a sage, or he was an activist, or he was a helper, or a medicine man, or a magician. But then Jesus comes along with his own words and says, I and the Father are one. He makes claims that put him equal with God. And Jesus says he is God. And this is kind of where our brains snap and we don't know what to do and we don't know what label to put on him. Is he a human or is he, is he a God or is he, is he a sane person or is he a crazy person? And what does that mean for us? How do I process this and then how do I live with it? That's what we want to talk about this Sunday at Walden Church. We want to talk about the doctrine of the incarnation, Jesus' makeup. How can Jesus be 100% human and 100% God? And if that's the case, how does it affect the way I live? How does it affect the way I communicate about Jesus with other people? Should be a really good conversation. Hey, I got a couple of announcements for you. First of which is we have one service this Sunday, one service this Sunday at 1030. It's a new time. So uh, adjust your schedule, one service, 1030. And then afterwards we will have a all church potluck. That's why we're adjusting the time food, right? We're having an all church potluck, we're having pulled pork, Bring your favorite side dish for that as well. And I want to remind you about trunk or treat. This is our ninth annual, ninth annual trunk or treat. Trunk or treat at our church is always on October 31st. It's always on Halloween and it's always from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. We do it rain or shine. And if you have any questions about trunk or treat or how you can be a part of it, please don't hesitate to call our church office. Hey, we want to be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.